Today I'm going to cover for uh, class the printing solutions for Mac computers. If you're having a problem with uh, printing from your Mac computer to your uh, laser printers, I have some solutions to three specific printers. Those being the um, black and white printer, HP LaserJet 8150, the uh, Xerox Phaser 7400, which is a color printer, and the Xerox Phaser 7800. Now, I did create a PDF handout for this if you do need it, so um, please ask me or email me for that handout and I'll send it to you via PDF. Now to get started, what we're going to have to do on the Apple computer, Mac computer, is we're going to go to that little Apple in the upper left-hand corner and we're going to go to System Preferences. Now we're going to um, pr then click on the hardware for print and scan. That's over here, second row down, nearly the end of the column. Now, if there are printer drivers loaded that are not functioning properly, such as uh, a generic black and white or color printer, you can click on that printer and then hit the delete or minus sign, and that will delete that printer. And then go ahead and verify you do want to delete the printer. Now we've been having problems with printers working because the printer drivers are generic and it won't print properly. The 11 by 17 paper won't print, it won't print double sided, uh, we can't even get to the color printer. So we've remedied this by reloading printer drivers. Now to load a printer driver, we're going to hit the plus sign, which will add a printer. And then when the add printer icon comes up or a uh, dialog box, we'll hit the IP button, third item, third item over on the top. And in the IP address, I'm going to add the black and white printer first. Now, I do have the handout. This would be step six, I believe. And I'm going to use the IP address for the black and white printer, which is 10.130.64.14. Now, that's the IP address to our HP LaserJet 8150. That's an IP address specific to that printer here. Now I can change the name of that printer. That way I don't have to, when I'm, when I'm printing, I don't want to see the IP address. It's too confusing. So I will put in there black and white B and W printer and then HP LaserJet 8150. And this is a DN printer. That does matter uh, if you uh, need uh, to know. It's a help. It's an advanced printer. It does double sided. Okay, I'm going to hit the add button next. Now this um, option comes up. That is, it's very important if you're printing double sided. You want to make sure that you check the third item down, which is duplex. Duplex basically means print double sided. You don't need to change any of the other options right now. We would just simply hit OK, and that printer is loaded. Now I'll continue with adding the color printer. We have an older color printer called the Xerox Phaser 7400DN, so I will hit the Add button. Again, I'm clicking on the IP button, and I'm copying and pasting, so I don't have to type this in, copying and pasting from the PDF, the IP address also copy and paste the uh, name of that printer from the uh, PDF and I'm highlighting the IP address under the word name and I'm inputting that printer. Now here it changed to generic postscript printer. It did not automatically change to the Xerox Phaser 7400 for the software. So what I'm going to have to do here, and I may have to do that on the black and white printer in some cases too, you want to, in the event that it does not list that printer software for that printer, it needs to match this name, um, we need to go to select printer software. We'll get a long list of printer software. So what I'm looking for again is the H, excuse me, the Xerox Phaser 7400. Now this is in alphabetic order, so this X will be near the end. There's a lot of Xerox printers. And when I get near 7400, I'm going to scroll and find that 7400. It is a DN printer as well. Do not choose DT, DX, DXF, or N. 
This is a, a Xerox Phaser 7400DN. And then click OK. And when you're finished, click Add. Now that did not come up with the options for double-sided printing. So what I need to do is double check to make sure that it is indeed set to duplex. So I want to make sure it's selected. I click Options and Supplies. And I click on Driver. And here by default, I was lucky. Optional duplex unit is turned on. So I just hit OK. And I'm ready to load the third printer driver that we have. So I'm going to again hit the plus sign. In this case, I'm going to be loading the Xerox Phaser 7800DN, so I'm going to grab its IP address and copy it, which is Command-C. I click on IP, I paste. I will then copy the name of the printer. Again, I'm copying this from the um, PDF that I've supplied. You can always type that in if you don't have it to copy. And you'll notice that in the location, the other ones are blank. And this location will say that the machine location is not set. Uh, don't fret. That's not a problem. However, what is a problem here is the software. It did automatically go find the Xerox Phaser 7800DN software. However, we have experienced problems with that. And it will not do double-sided printing properly um, using the printer software. So we will switch this from the Xerox Phaser 7800DN to generic PostScript printer. When we had it selected as the 7800DN, it would print double-sided, it would just print upside down on the other side, always. And it would not allow us to flip that in the software such as Adobe InDesign. We were able to flip that when we used generic PostScript printer. So I hit Add, and I do want to check in this window duplex, duplex printing, so we can print double-sided and I hit OK and now this is ready to print. Um, in my next video I will cover how to print a multiple page document through InDesign to any one of these printers. Thank you and happy printing!